We have never decided where to be born. We face the culture from where we are right after starting breathing. From where comes my cultural identity? What makes the culture unique? And how should I deal with it? I was born and raised in Korea, but ironically, Korean traditional music was unfamiliar even to me. Since I have started to compose, I have learned and admired Western music, and I just thought that only Korean traditional musicians have a duty to preserve and inherit the music tradition. But I started to miss it and try to find fascinating aspects of it after living in Germany, like I missed my family and home. I have met a lot of people and faced various cultural aspects from them during my study in Germany. I realized that harmonizing with them is important, but sharing my cultural background with them is also important. I always try to explain Korean culture to people in Germany and from other countries. And it led me to trace the musical heritage of my home country. I wanted to have my own identity and characteristic in my compositions. Also, I wanted to find a way that only I can do. So I imagined a project which reflects my cultural background and newly acquired musical experience in Germany. I wanted to create a complex artistic theatrical project that combines instrument sound, voice, movement, electronic music, and drama. Specifically, the project with Korean traditional instruments musical characteristics, atmosphere, and aura. So, I decided to find a traditional Korean music custom which has a complex artistic aspect to make it as an outline for my project. Pansori is an orally transmitted literature based on a long folktale story performed by a singer and a drummer. Originally a form of folk entertainment for the lower classes, Pansori was embraced by the Korean elite during the 19th century. Pansori singer describes a long story with Chang, Aniri, and Balim. Chang refers to singing. Aniri refers to talking as if one is singing. It is used to express the mentality of the main character, the dialogue between characters, 
and the changes of events. And palim refers to gestures and movements, sometimes holding a folding fan. To become a great singer, one had to meet an excellent teacher. The learning process is that one follows the sounds of his teacher through memorization without sheet music. The variety and flexibility that varies depending on the singer are the interesting features of pansori. I reconstructed the elements of pansori in my own method and interpretation. I have researched and analyzed texts and transcriptions of pansori. And I needed to know which characteristics make the originality of Korean music to have it as a material of my compositions. Therefore, I decided to learn pansori singing and gayakum to understand deeply the aspect of musical elements and spirit. What makes the sound of pansori? I have studied the factor by comparing pansori singing beside Western bel canto singing method. 서양 성악 창법과 판소리 창법은 저에게 있어서 많이 다른데요. 서양 성악을 할때 공명을 이용해서 전달할 수 있는 맑고 깨끗한 소리는 기술적인 연습을 더 많이 하게 되고 목을 상하지 않고 보호하는 식으로 연습을 하게 되는데요. 판소리를 연습할 때는 소리를 크게 많이 지르거나 약간 쉰 소리가 나게 하거나 그런 음색을 만드는 과정을 거치게 되는데요. 서양 성악을 할때 이런 과정은 어, 때로는 매우 위험합니다. 판소리 
에서는 그러면 왜 목을 보호하지 않고 오히려 목을 계속 망가뜨리면서 단단하게 하는 식으로 연습하게 되었나 생각해보면 은 쿵푸 영화 같은 걸 보면 은 뜨거운 모래에 손을 계속 집어넣다 뺐다 하면서 손을 단련하는 장면 같은 게 떠올라요 어, 처음에는 고통스럽지만 계속 그 과정을 거치면서 손이 매우 강해지게 되는데 서양에서는 이런 방법보다는 좋은 장갑을 써서 오랫동안 손을 쓸수 있게 그 단단한 손을 가질 수 있게 하는 것 같습니다 그거 외에도 공연된 공간이 어디였나 생각해보면 은 판소리 같은 경우에는 보통 마당 어떤 판 바깥 그리고 악기도 그냥 타악기 하나 이렇게 되고 서양 성악 같은 경우에는 실내 공간 궁정이나 오페라 극장 교회 이렇게 울림이 있는 공간에 있었기 때문에 그런 상황에서 전달하기 위해서는 공명을 잘 이용했어야 됐을 거라고 봅니다 그래서 기술적으로도 음색적으로도 그런 식으로 발전된 것 같습니다 As a result, following factors were applied to the work The factors coming from Chang Preference of noisy timber produced by closed and pressed vocal cord that have been stressed for a long time Transition with vowel subdivision Rapid rhythmic ornament at the beginning and ending of the long note. Donghyun and Shigimse articulations. Rapid timber transition between true and false. And I developed the elements aniri and palim from pansori in my ways. 사극에 왜그 놀이꾼들이 와가지고 자 여러분들 모여 보시오. In terms of aniri, I composed rhythmic phrases to infer situations and emotions rather than explaining them with text. Spring, think of gewürz. And motivated from Palim, self-designed Arduino-based device, a cellular ring, audioizes movement of the singer. Shimcheonga, one of the five stories of Pansori, is evaluated as having a high musical artistic value next to Chunyanga, which deals with a love story. And melodies in Shimcheonga are mostly in minor scales and contain a lot of tragic elements. Yes, I'm quite sure that normally I'm into tragedy rather than romance. I think it is the reason why those elements inspired me a lot. Once upon a time, there were the blind Shin Bong Sa and his wife, Mrs. Kwak. Mrs. Kwak, who has shown her pregnant sign after having dreamed of holding a beautiful woman in her arms, gives birth to a daughter, Shin Chung. However, she finally dies in seven days. Shin Chung, who grew up with help from others, was a good daughter who went out for begging instead of his father at the age of 10. One day, the blind Shin Bong Sa fell into the stream and the monk saved him. The monk sympathized with him and said that the monk will open Shin Bong Sa's eyes when he dedicates the 300 sock of sacred rice. But he couldn't get that sacred rice because he and his daughter suffered from poverty. One day, Shim Chang hears the sailors buying a virgin, and she tells them to buy her the cost of 300 sack of sacred rice to the temple.
in the end, she throws herself in the stormy sea. At the time, the god of the sea was impressed by her loyalty to her father and treats her well to help her to return to the human being. And in the heaven on the water called Peach Garden, she reunions with her dead mother. In a few days, the sailors who have passed by the sea find a floating flower and devote it to the single emperor. Then the flower opens and Shim Chang comes out. Shim Chang, who became a queen, opens the feast for every blinds in the village to find her father Shim Bong Sa. After arriving at the feast place, Shim Bong Sa meets his daughter Shim Chang again and finally gets his eyesight by heavenly blessing. The text of Shim Chang-ga is didactic and surreal. This story embodies the Confucian concept of filial piety. Through the contents of Shim Chang's sacrifice and reincarnation, and Shim Bong Sa's eyes opening centered on the character Shim Chang. Ein Briten Blatt, hier durch und dort hinein, were composed based on the elements obtained from the four main scenes of Shimchanga. In dort hin and die Spur des Augenblicks, which connects each part, were composed by reinterpreting the content of Shimchanga subjectively, intuitively, and implicitly. <laughs> In Pansori, one singer should read the whole content. From the perspective of an omniscient writer, the vocalist changes roles by alternating all the characters and narrations. Taking advantage of this Pansori characteristic, various roles were assigned to the singer for each movement. Ein Blütenblatt is composed based on two scenes, the funeral and Indangsu, where Shim Chang throws herself into the sea. The singer's role in the funeral scene is Shim Chang's mother herself during her funeral. And in the Indangsu scene, the singer plays the role of Shim Chang with ensemble. I have taken a scene from Shim Chang Ga, the reunion of Shim Chang and her mother in Hia Duoi. The singer and the Hun player interact with each other as Shim Chang and her mother. In Dot Hin Ein, the singer describes that moment when the blind Shim Bong Sa opened his eyes as a storyteller. <laughs> Duat Hin is composed for violin solo and live electronic, imagining passage to the peach garden which symbolizes utopia. Die Spur des Augenblicks was composed for ensemble as an intermezzo in the entire program. Shin Bong Sa thought to be executed for the offenses for selling his daughter to the sailors. After his name is called at a feast for the blind, held by Shim Chang, who became queen. I portrayed the twists and turns that Shim Bong Sa goes through until he opens his eyes. And from his point of view, I recalled and implied various scenes passing by like a life flash before his eyes. For this project, I invited three Korean players from Berlin, Dresden, and Korea. Definitely, it was a tough decision, but it was worthy enough. To me, they were considered new musical instruments that I had not dealt with, and gave me interest and inspiration in terms of timber and playing techniques. In order to realize properly the similarity and contrast, rather than strict differentiation of the sound, the Korean traditional string instruments Kayakum and Hegum were organized with Western Ensemble. 
Also, I wanted them to interact with each other consciously and even unconsciously. I analyzed Shim Changa's text and music in several dimensions and brought out the melody, rhythm, word, text, characters, the flow of emotions, dramatic elements, situations, symbols, and structures. In all texts in Asia, a peach garden is described as a heaven on earth. Titles dort hin hier durch and dort hin ein contain directionality toward utopia. The title Ein Blütenblatt implies a single petal of peach blossoms in the peach garden. It is an effort to concentrate on the significant character Shimchang and the meaning of her dramatic event. Her sacrifice and love for her father opened the eyes of all blind and spread virtuous influence to people in the world, as if a flower drops itself to bear fruit. In Korean traditional folk religion, people believed the eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Shimchang's mother dies after giving birth to Shimchang. Shimchang dies when she falls into the sea if we set aside fictional aspects. Shim Chang and her mother meet again in the afterworld called Peach Garden, and Shim Chang returns to this world again. I applied this circulation as a structure of the entire project, and as circular stage movement of Shim Chang and her mother in Hyodwai. I have imagined the invisible world as sound. I portrayed the sound of wandering souls and the way to the afterworld, with air sound of wind instruments, friction mallet on a gong, and bowing metal instruments such as singing bowls and vibraphone. And by layering the wavy resonances of the water foam and piano strings modulated by glass polyphonically. There are a lot of water motifs in Shimchanga. I recreated various water sounds as materials for composing here Doi. First, concrete water sound by ad hoc players with the meaning of offering the rice wine to ancestor. Second, recorded water sound modulated by playback speed and pitch shifting. Third, granulated Golenio budget of phrase with low pass filter to describe the sound of underwater. I consider the blind Shimbongsa's loss of sight as a loss of sense. It was reinterpreted as a loss of hearing in order to apply to music an auditory art. <laughs> Opening eyes imminently means realizing the truth. Contradictorily, at the moment when Shimbongsa opens his eyes, I made the whole stage completely dark. Thank you.
and the blinking small LED light in the dark symbolized his spiritual enlightenment. Ich glaube, das Interessante bei so einem Projekt ist, dass man merkt, dass wenn man ein gemeinsames Ziel hat, und dann ist es auch relativ egal, glaube ich, aus welcher Kultur oder aus welchem Hintergrund ein Musiker oder ein Instrument kommt. Eine Art Ritual ist. Und ich fand schön, dass das sich auf der Bühne irgendwie wiedergespiegelt hat, dieses Gefühl einer Zeremonie. Gerade dieser koreanische äh, Panzerigesang. Ich habe immer das Gefühl, mir wird eine Geschichte erzählt, wenn ich, wenn ich so eine Art von Gesang höre. Auch wenn ich vielleicht gar nicht verstehe, was jetzt genau passiert im Detail, aber die Emotionen kommen rüber wie, ähm, ja, wie eine, eine Geschichte, die ich erzählt bekomme. Das, was einen auf einer tiefen Ebene berührt, auch wenn man vielleicht gar nicht weiß, worum es geht. Aber man kriegt diese Emotionen mit. After images collected from Shimchanga texts, I melted them into dramatic elements in my project. Before Shimchang jumps into the sea, the sailors perform a shaman ritual toward the god of the sea to calm the stormy waves. The sounds of traditional percussion instruments such as Jing, Buk, and Gengari build up an atmosphere of traditional ritual in a regular rhythm repetition. At the beginning of the whole concert, the singer's arm and legs are tied with fabrics, which are long enough to connect the stage and backstage. And she is dragged to the stage by two instrument players. This scene was taken from the image of Shim Chang's mother's funeral, inspired by the sound and appearance of traditional funeral custom. For example, a meditative beginning with the sound of handbells and hand symbols. Furthermore, at the moment when the singer's body is dragged, I portrayed imagination what Mrs. Kwok feels at her funeral. Specifically, the emotional distress to abandon her life and family. In other words, desperate desire to stay in this world were expressed by pressed sound of kayakum and prepared violin. And the sharp string scratching sound of the piano implies Shimbongsa's heart carving grief comes from the loss of his wife. The Sängerin uh, was very ausdrucksstark beim Singen und auch beim Schauspiel. Ähm, ja, auch die theatralische äh, Performance am Anfang konnte die Zuschauer und Musiker auf der Bühne sehr schnell äh, in die Welt des Stücks äh, führen. Beim Spielen finde ich manchmal, äh, dass ich nicht nur als eine Pianistin äh, die Musik des Stücks äh, spiele, sondern äh, auch als ein Interpreter, der auch auf einer Ebene äh, eine Rolle durch Klangerzeugungen äh, gespielt hätte. Dropping the long clothes into the water and pulling it out. In this way, it was believed that the souls who die drowning can be lifted to the ground. That cloth was regarded as a connection of death world and this world. This ritual was performed to comfort the souls who couldn't ascend to the heaven and send them to the peaceful heaven. At the end of Ein Blutenblatt, the gesture of playing the fishing lines installed on the strings of the piano implies lifting out the soul of Shim Chang drowning in the water.
Pansori is basically originated and developed from the Korean language, and they are organically bonded. I had to choose whether to use Korean to keep the purity of the tradition, or the reconstructed using English or German. This 가장 맛이 살고 음악적 표현에도 저에게 있어서 자유롭습니다. When I preserve the originality of pansori as it is, the possibility of interaction between the compositional materials will be limited. Moreover, it breaks the lingual communication between the piece and the audience in Germany. It is the reason why I used Shimchanga text translated in German. Nevertheless, I intended my piece to approach the audience abstractly through specific text handling processes. I analyzed and disassembled an organism of pansori by comparing two languages. This allowed me to deeply understand how the Korean language affects pansori singing as well as their mechanism, principle, and system. This time, I wanted the pansori singer to show the standard or ideal of pansori sound, and for another translator, I tried to make it possible for a German singer to perform it again. That is why I described the sound of pansori based on a Western notation, like a pansori transcription. Uh, 어, 좀 불편하다고 느끼실지 아니면은 어, 흥미롭고 새로운 시도라고 생각을 하실지 저도 참 궁금합니다. Instead of narrative description, I wanted to use the text in abstract expression. I have repeated specific text three times. However, each time with different elements of the sentence are pronounced. Others are shown by the singer's mouth shape. <웃음> By collecting all elements that are pronounced over a long period of time, a complete sentence could be inferred. But from moment to moment, it's hard to recognize the obvious meaning. All words in the text were extracted and sorted according to the number of syllables. The words were recombined paradoxically or poetically into sentences with new meanings. The first consonants of the word, such as f, t, m, were repeatedly processed in a very complex rhythm, and thereby noisy, urgent, multiphonic-like inhalation was combined to express the extreme fear and anxiety of Shimchang facing death on a stormy sea. <laughs> Korean final consonants such as mium, niun, iung, similar with m, n, o, and vowels a, e, i, o, u, are extended often to very long notes and phrase in pansori. And I was fascinated by this aspect. Furthermore, it could be a connecting link and a composing method to lessen the language barrier between Korean and another language. And as a material without linguistic meaning, I could build free and flexible melody lines with them. The world stopped. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, everything sank under lockdown. As a result, my graduation concert was postponed twice. Would it be possible to finish my project? Am I doing right? 
Eventually, I fell into severe helplessness. Nevertheless, there was a dramatic twist. It was literally marvelous. Hundreds of tigers lined up in a snow-covered field in front of me. The day after I dreamed of tigers, I heard the news that I have won the first prize in Yongi Park Pan Composition Competition with the work I'm Bruton Blood. K pop만 인기 있는 게 아닙니다. 우리 구의 정서가 담긴 소리를 만들어내며 찬사를 받고 있는 겁니다. 이도훈 기자가 보도합니다. 작곡가 장동희는 제 5회 국제 박영희 작곡상에서 꽃잎 한 잎이란 작품으로 1등상을 받았습니다. 독일과 한국을 오가며 작곡 활동에 매진하던 장동인에게 감격스러운 소식이었습니다. 평소에 국악이랑 서양 악기를 어떻게 조화를 이룰까 고민을 많이 했었는데 이렇게 감사하게도 상까지 받게 되니까 아 그런 고민들이 의미 있었다라고 위로를 받을 수 있게 된것 같습니다. 꽃잎 한 잎은 대표적인 판소리 신청가를 장동인만의 시각으로 새롭게 해석한 작품입니다. 대금과 가야금, 서양악기 등총 8명의 연주로 구성됐고 기존 심청가가 효사상을 강조했다면 이번 작품은 감정의 극한을 표현하는 데 중점을 뒀습니다. 화를 엄청 세게 그어가지고 거의 소음이 날 정도로 이렇게 표현을 한다든지 그런 주법들을 가야금에도 적용을 해봤는데 훨씬 더 다양한 스펙트럼을 가지고 있더라고요. 음색의 변화에 있어서. 파격적인 시도에 대해 낯설다고 느끼는 관객도 있지만 신선하고 훌륭하다며 칭찬하는 목소리가 많습니다. 꽃잎 한 잎은 아직도 진행형입니다. 심청전에 처음부터 끝까지 이제 눈 뜨는 대목까지 한 1시간 정도의 프로그램으로 공연 콘텐츠를 만드는 게 그다음 목표이고요. 여태까지 했던 활동들에 이어서 국악을 접목시킨 활동을 더욱 넓혀가는 것이 이제 목표입니다. 우리 소리를 갖고 무수히 많은 실험을 했던 그동안의 노력이 조금씩 빛을 발하고 있습니다. MBN 뉴스 이동훈입니다. For this competition, the role of the pansori singer was adapted to daegum, which is a representative Korean traditional wind instrument. The will and desire toward the project strengthened again, and I continued to focus on the work with confidence. Especially, I focused on reinterpreting the characteristics of traditional Korean music. And breaking away from the traditional techniques of hegum and kayagum, I wanted them to show their virtuoso aspect and acoustic potential through newly devised playing techniques. The strokes of Korean traditional calligraphic painting capture the moments when the brush touched the paper. Movement of speed, direction, pressure, and time in contact with paper changed the shape and texture of the stroke. Korean traditional music players also modulate the tones during and even after they produce them. It changes the tones and reverberation elaborately and variously. In addition, there is no perfectly straight line in Korean traditional calligraphy or music. The strokes fluctuate gently, getting wider, stretch as a big curve, getting slower or faster, and bend. I wanted to reinvent the sound of Korean and Western instruments with the ever-changing timbre and the flexible and dynamic curve movement. Compared to Western music, one of the distinguishing characteristics of Korean music is 시김새, which could be explained as Korean articulation customs. It refers to 추성, 퇴성, 전성, 농현, etc.
Although it is a kind of free expression that shows the skillfulness of the performer, but still they are in quiet, fixed ways, phrase by phrase and note by note. I used original form of Shikimse and its expanded transformation in length or register. I also imitated the sound and action of Shikimse with Western instruments. My name is Sophia von Arzingen and I played the viola. At the Spür des Augenblicks or the Trace of the Moment, we had two traditional Korean instruments, the Hagun and Kayagun, and um, they are both string instruments, so they have some similarity to my own instrument, the viola. But of course, they have a very specific sound quality and weight play and sound color that uh, brought a completely different atmosphere and um, characteristic to, to this piece, which is one of the most interesting things. We do some activity with our, my instrument where it sounds similar for me as a traditional Korean instrument, bato pizzicato with the glissando at the same time, and it sounds like this. Wood of the bow and move it over the string, and we pluck the strings, and this is how it sounds. After extending the meaning of Nonghyan, I used graphics which indicate rhythm, depth, speed and various combination of these to utilize the various vibration actions. In addition, the sound of Nonghyan causes specific emotional arousal. For example, extremely slow and deep Nonghyan in Dish Bodas Augenblicks implies Shim Chang's unlucky fate. Hagen player presses the string to generate tone movement known as Shigimse up to major third, but I maximized it up to perfect fourth. Western string instruments mimic the Hagen's Nonghyun by pressing the strings against the fingerboard. In another way, I brought the modern playing technique of Western strings, which is known as behind the bridge. I combined this and Nonghyun to create a soft and high whistle-like timbre with vibrating tone movement on Hagen.
Typical glissando notation shows the straight line and constant movement, but I used the curved lines to flexibly represent the speed and nuances of the movement in Korean traditional music. I focused on the process of transition of tone color following the change of bow pressure and bowing position of string instruments. The light sounds gather together to form a thick sound, or the thin line extends to a thick layer. Sometimes the notes are scattered like ink splashes with different densities, and the timber gradually changes like as the ink spreads on paper. I wanted to approach the concept of time in music from a new perspective. Instead of the artificial metric grid, I wanted to apply the subjective flow of time from each player in a specific moment. Its phrase and its relation is formed in real time in different subjective tempos. <laughs> To explore a new world of sound, I deviated from the traditional skills, tried preparations, developed special playing techniques, and brought unique instruments. The tuning system of Kayagun, such as pentatonic or seven-tone scale, makes it difficult to escape from the traditional pattern. For the new atmosphere, 25 strings of Kayagun were tuned by mixing 12 chromatic tones and 13 quarter tones. It is notated in E-flat scale, which is mostly common for Gayagum tuning. In order to achieve a modern harmonic result, even when playing chord, broken chord, and melody familiar to the player. I made a max patch to simulate the sound result of Kayagum with Gugak VST developed by Cat Snow. During the Gagum lesson, I was getting bored of tonal music and beautiful glissando playing. I couldn't stop my desire to discover the new sound and playing techniques. Moreover, I even began improvisation.
5도 정도 차이 나게 이렇게 이런 식으로 긁어요 이런 것도 있나요? 네네 네, 그런 것도 많아요 그팔때 가지고도 이렇게 긁어요 장동희 작곡가의 작품 획에서 가장 인상적이었던 부분은 해금 활의 사용법이었습니다. 기존의 해금은 두줄 사이에 활을 끼워서 연주하는 형태로 되어 있어요. 전통 국악곡에서는 절대로 이렇게 분리해서 쓰는 경우가 없었어요. 이렇게 분리를 한 덕분에 그 외에 멀티포닉도 가능하게 됐고요. 이런 피치카토 주법들이 훨씬 음량도 크고 다른 방해물 없이 쓸수 있게 된 점은 굉장히 고무적이라고 생각합니다. 제 티피셜 타센드로 클랑 데스 클라비아스 마흐 미아 슈파스 아버 니트 겐누 Ich fand sehr interessant, neue Klänge zu erzeugen mit verschiedenen Materialien. Zum Beispiel Superball, Magnet, sehr laut, koreanische traditionelle Schaman Schelle. Ich kann die Glissandi auf den Seiten spielen mit Fahrradschlauch. Präpariertes Klavier bedeutet mir äh, vier Fähigkeit. Ähm, es kann mehr Ausdrucksmöglichkeiten hervorbringen. Es ist mehr dimensional, mehr farbig und magisch. Es kann viele Sachen oder Klänge durch unterschiedliche Materialien äh, imitieren, sowie eine äh, andere Klangeffekte, eine neue Klangeffekte schaffen. Hun, the traditional Korean wind instrument, which is similar to an ocarina, is made by shaping clay and then baking. It has a warm and soft pitched wind sound. I thought that the sound of Hun is suitable for a meditative and dreamy atmosphere to describe peach garden in Hiadwaich. Since there were few references of Hun, I and my colleague Hedin devised the fingerings and playing techniques by ourselves. Basically, this instrument was designed based on pure temperament and it was able to glisse up and down to fourth through fingering and embouchure and also including traditional musical articulations. Besides traditions, trills, bispigliando, and continuous tonguing with accents were also used as materials for composition. And live recorded long notes were stacked in 12 notes to create a mystical and subtle chord.
I think this is a very special project um, because I am extremely interested in projects that bring different culture and uh, backgrounds. I was very interested in, in, in the Panzori and it's a big experience for the audience. It's a very big project with, there is a story, there's um, many different sounds, a visual effect also. My experience with traditional instruments is very related to my home country. I come from Brazil and we have many percussion instruments there um, that are related sometimes with uh, religious or spiritual music as, as from the Canton Blé and sometimes from dance sport music as in Capoeira or even from the popular music as, as we have in Samba, the Atabaki or the Kashishi as well as um, Kuika, Berimbau. And I have had experience where these instruments are brought to contemporary music as well as crossover repertoire. And it has always been very rewarding to work with um, these different uh, sounds that these instruments bring with themselves. Normally, Palim in Pansori assists the emphasis of text or acting, but I wanted to use Palim as a main material of my live lecturing music, especially with newly designed devices like this. I needed a device that can send data from hand and arm movements to affect the sound modulation, which is lightweight, small, and wearable they can operate wirelessly wherever on stage. Therefore, I have built my own Arduino circuit board using various components including sensors and LEDs, which are cheap and reconfigurable without limit. It can detect XYZ axis values from hand and arm movement, and via radio and serial communication, a cellular sensor data is transmitted within 100 meters. This data is connected to parameters in MaxPatch and the smallest Arduino compatible Seiduno Xiao board is used. The power is supplied by two coin cells not to disturb the physical movement. The movement of singer's arm and hand is audioized with the sound of water drop, filtered pink noise, mobiles, thunder, and live recorded phrases. And the sound is modulated live according to the sensor data. I have smoothed and converted sensor data into parameter values for max patch. X value affects panning Y value affects pitch or playback speed or density. And speed of movement increases the value temporally, and amount of movement affects the gain value. And rapid impulse generates bang, and device position switches mode for the different sounding result. The brightness of LED changes according to the loudness of sound, and it can distinguish between short and long notes, blinking reaction for short notes, and dimming reaction for long notes. Seiduino Xiao and high-quality analog sound sensor is used. It was worn by string players at the end of the concert, and symbolizes the spiritual enlightenment of Shinbongsa as illuminating small lights in the dark. It's a device that reacts to how you're playing and, and, uh, and the sound you are making, how uh, the register, the length. 
I guess it will really appear like stars blinking and uh, in, a, uh, in a dark background constructed with uh, in the, this very moment by this improvisation and I guess for the audience it's, uh, it's a nice, very nice experience. We use the word harmonizing very often and easily. But the question how would be not so easy to answer. I still remember the first day in Germany. I felt timid and hid myself behind the wall. It took a long time to open myself to others and I needed a lot of courage and confidence to communicate with people who have different cultural backgrounds. But through this project, I'm so proud that I revealed my cultural identity abroad and made two different cultures communicate with each other. When I look back, it was a long and hard journey. And it doesn't mean the end of the journey. I will step forward to develop ways to share my cultural identity with others.